welcome back to another Wizzy Walsh eventing vlog. Sorry it's been a while since my last one, but uh, the good reason why that was, um, unfortunately, Zoe had a bit of an injury and she was off games for a few weeks, but she's back now. So yeah, so it started at the start of May. She had a little bit of a run in with one of the cross country fences, had my boot on and everything, you know, had all my boots on. But unfortunately the boot came off at the same time and now I know it's for good reason because unfortunately it ended up being a nail in the cross country fence. Um, so yeah, so I didn't realise that at the time. Got off obviously, saw loads of blood and I was like, oh dear. Oh, oh flying everywhere. Um, so got her straight back to the yard, washed it out, had a good look at it and then realised it's quite deep. It was really quite deep. So sorry about the graphic pictures about to come up, but uh, enjoy those. So yeah, so um, I was like, too deep, needs a vet. So called the vet out. Half an hour past the cut off time for it being a court for being a, like a proper emergency call out you know so, <laughs> yes expensive trip out for the vet and um when we tried when we walked her she was fine then when we tried her up she was quite sore on it i mean it, what can you expect do you know what i mean like she wasn't lame but she was sore so vet said right we'll staple it and uh see how she gets on well oh my god i have never seen seren at like that at all she was the, a menace she was an absolute devil even the vet was like shouting at her <laughs> so um i just staple a leg obviously gave her sedation to start with sedation didn't touch her at all her adrenaline must have been sky high and um she just would not stay still. She wouldn't let the vet touch her. She was rearing in the vet's face every time she tried to do a staple. She would let me touch it, which was quite endearing. But uh, yeah, the vet did not have a chance. Um, so yeah, so she stapled it. So she does. Um, and... So we did that, and that was Seren's first experience of box rest and my first experience of box rest i've been so lucky and you know touch wood. <laughs> so but that um, was quite a change for me having a horse that is living and out 24 7 to then living in 24 7 for a few days luckily it was only for a few days and then i started gradual turnout um which you'll see she was very happy about but because of where it was on her leg every time she moved it wasn't it, it was it was healing but not very quickly oh oh uh. That's not what I... So I was kind of like, oh, do I need to get the vet on again? But I kept messaging the vet and she was like, just, you know, just keep doing what you're doing. It'll just take time to heal. Um, obviously not realising it was a nail at this point. So, um, yeah, I just kept dressing it every day. Just kept putting them out. And then one day I brought her in and she was quite sore in it. And then when I unbanded, and then when I unbandaged it, it was really red it, it was grown some proud flesh so you'll see some pictures attached now <laughs> um so yeah so she grew this proud flesh and then i was like oh my god what the hell do i do that because i know with the vets they can cut that off but han came to the rescue and afi has been in the wars a lot and she recommended this stuff called equa aid oh my god it was literally miracle in a pot like came the next day it's spenny you know it's like 25 pound for a little pot but it works i'm telling you now it works so this was it on day one and this was it like through the days literally by day three it had healed the proud flesh had gone and it had healed up and i could ride her again um i did ride her before i before the proud flesh came so you know we were just doing hacking and stuff but it just had to be careful to keep it clean because it was still very open but then yeah after that i was just like well that's it she sounds like she's never she's not been lame throughout it she was just sore um and she's back now so yeah so that's her with her little friend finn so finn is her little field buddy which i was you know apprehensive about when i first moved to the yard about actually turning her out with another horse but you know what he is such a little gent and she's not marish in any way shape or form and they got on like a house on fire like just they don't bother each other they're just eating tea quite happily next to each other apart from Sarah's finish now and Finn hasn't so that'll be fun um <laughs> so yeah so that's that's our story that's where we're at and actually going on a holiday so I'm so glad she's okay um and she's back to herself and she's fully healed just in time for our holiday 
Um, so we are going to field farm holidays in Lincolnshire and it's like right next to the beach. We've hired a cottage. I'm going with Beck, who I went um, hunting with for the first, hand exercise with for the first time. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going with Cara the Connemara. So um, that's going to be fun. Uh, I'm going to show you what I pack and stuff. And then, um, yeah, we're setting off tomorrow and I'm going to stay at Beck's. So we're going to go for a hack. And then we'll travel to Field Farm the next day <laughs> for a few days. So we're going to be on the beach, there's a cross country course. So yeah, I just can't wait to have some fun, really. Hello, darling. <laughs> Hello, you. What's going on with you parting? So yeah, here she is, everybody. And this is her leg. That's all that's left. So it's just a bit scabby now. Well, that's it. All gone, just a bit scabby, but perfectly fine. Hi, Jewel, you're making a special appearance. Here they are! Oh my god! Yes, Seven. A new place, a new home for a while, let me feel.